My wife's got two sisters in, in America um, that I've never met. Um, my sister also lives in Australia, and I haven't seen her for a while, so I'm really looking forward to seeing everybody. A serious old world cruiser. Yep. And you arrive, of course, with all this money for them. They'll be ever so pleased to see you. Okay, Len, you've got 15 questions as always. One million pounds if you get all 15 right. Three lifelines, 50 50, phone a friend and ask the audience. Okay, you ready for this? Yep. Okay, let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> right, first question for 100 pounds. Here it comes. Which of these was a very successful Scottish film in 1996? Stamp collecting, bird watching, model making, Train spotting. Uh, I'll take a guess at D, Chris. <laughs> a wild guess at D is the right answer. You've got 100 quid. Well done. <laughs> 200 pounds, have a look at it. You've got three lifelines. Here it comes. In which city would you find the Kremlin? St. Petersburg, Minsk, Vladivostok, or Moscow? I'll go for D again, Chris. Moscow. Moscow is the right answer. You've got 200 pounds. <laughs> OK, have a look at the next one for 300 quid. Which of these Beatles songs was also a film starring the Fab Four? Hard Day's Night, Love Me Do, Eleanor Rigby or Penny Lane? I think I know the answer, Chris, but I'm not sure. Take your time, A, B, C or D? I think A, Chris. That's good, you got £300. <laughs> Best film ever, mate. You've got £300, you've still got three lifelines. Have a look at this for 500 quid. Which stone did primitive man mainly use for making tools and starting fires? Flint, chalk, sandstone or marble? I again, Chris, flint. You're saying flint? You had £300, you're saying flint, you've now got £500. Now, this is the last point at which you could go home with no money. I hope it doesn't happen, Len. It's only happened once in two series. If you go for the next question and get it right, uh, you go away with a minimum tonight of £1,000. Have a look at it. I'm sure you want to play it for £1,000. Here it comes. What could be described as Vienna or pumpernickel? Steaks, bread, wine or cakes? 50-50, Chris. OK. Computer, take away two wrong answers, please. Want to try and get Len up to £1,000. Take away two wrong answers, leave just the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. So it's Vienna steaks, pumpernickel steaks, or pumpernickel bread and it's Vienna bread. bread. Chris. It's bread, you're saying to me, for £1,000. It's the right answer, you've got a grand. Well done. And you're okay, you've still got two lifelines, you've still got to phone a friend, you've still got to ask the audience. Uh, have a look at the next question, you might as well play it, whatever happens, you leave here tonight with a minimum of £1,000. Next question's worth £2,000, have a look at it, tell me if you want to play. What sort of gas is used in cigarette lighters and domestic fuels? CS. <laughs> Propane. Radon. Or butane. You've got a thousand pounds anyway, you might as well play it. You've got two lifelines. I'll ask the audience, Chris. OK, audience, uh, A, B, C or D, this is the question. Try and get Len up to two thousand pounds. What sort of gas is used in cigarette lighters and domestic fuels? All of your keypads, please. A, B, C or D, vote now. Five percent think that you use CS gas in your cigarette lighters. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of a worry. Yeah. Um, Three percent think radon. Eighty-four percent are saying butane. It's your choice, Len. But no, um, I go with the audience. D looks good. Yeah. Okay, you had a thousand pounds. He's saying to me, D, you've now got two thousand pounds. <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing like a nice CS gas cigarette lighter, <laughs> is there? <laughs> nothing dangerous about that.